G'day guys and girls, Karen French here, back with another live chats with friends. Welcome to 2022. A pretty cool year, I've got to say. Got some pretty cool people coming on for our chats with friends. Uh, you're probably wondering why I started this stuff. Um, what's it all about? Um, I'm trying to normalize mental health and trying to bring some, uh, I guess, clarity to people that are doing their own social media stuff. And I know a lot of people that post always seem to have a, a fantastic smile on their face but behind the scenes, there might be something going on. So I'm reaching out to just say, hey, how are you? And uh, we're gonna see and talk to some male, female, four-wheel drive content creators, YouTube content creators, photographers, videographers, whatever it could be. I just wanna say hello and sort of get, uh, I don't know, get to know more about the people that uh, we watch and follow on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever it could be. So today I have, everyone does know him, as wise is GU or Cade. Uh, today we'll be talking about how he is and what's been going on with him. Did the lockdown affect him and what's he got planned for the GU? Obviously he just had the car with a new lick of paint. Um, what's his plans? Does he want to go to travel Australia again? Is he got lots of things going on? I don't know. We always see him post about his car, but we don't know more about him. So these chats are always about trying to normalize mental health, trying to get the community back together so we can just talk and just have some fun and just interact with each other. It is sort of hard at the moment trying to, I don't know, talk to new people, make new friends. Um, these lockdowns in Melbourne's been pretty bad. If you don't know me, my name's Kieran French. I live in Melbourne, Victoria. And uh, yeah, it's been pretty difficult for the last two years and it's getting a lot better. And there's lots of things that I can see at the end of the tunnel that I would like to do and see this year for 2022. So if anyone hasn't seen, I've had a couple of four wheel drivers on, had, uh, some pretty cool people on really for last year and it was just one of those things where I reached out and just said hey how are you would you be up for a chat and um, this year I'm going to do exactly the same I'm going to try and get some more people on could be anyone four wheel drive content creating YouTube whatever I don't know you guys can talk you tell me who you want to see and who you want to talk to and who you want to know more about that was the one thing I sort of wanted to get across um, for the people that did come on I did do a little sticker giveaway so a big thank you to my friends at Insight Signage they are friends of mine that just started a small business and uh, if you want go give them a like smash the like button follow whatever um, these guys are just pretty much helping me out so I can continue with this stuff um, continue talking and meeting new people and talking about how their lives are and how they got into their niche or what, dri what drives them to create the stuff that they are creating on our social media platforms so I don't know where Kate is uh, hopefully he has seen that I did send him a message so Hopefully it comes on pretty soon. Look, I've got a couple of people that have sent me some DMs. It's pretty good asking about how he got into four-wheel driving, all this, all this pretty cool stuff about his car and him and himself. And yeah, he's been doing it for a long time now. Everyone does know him by the the Ute that he drives or the GU that he does drive. And that is pretty, pretty hectic, that car. Um, since he has painted it, it looks Mickey Mouse. It looks even better than normal. But these chats are all about... Um, creating awareness about mental health and trying to bring people across and talking about how they are, what's been happening. And yeah, that's, that's what I want to try and do. Normalize talking about whatever it could be. It doesn't have to be always negative or always can be something that could be positive. I don't know. Just talking in general. I see it's just come on. Let's see if I can request you to come across, dude, and we'll start the Hopefully we can get this going. See how you are, what's been happening with him, and uh, get down and dirty with the four-wheel drive talk. If it works. I don't know. Who knows? This is the first one for you. Hey, dude, how are you? Good, mate. How are you? I'm well, I'm well. Do you want to get um, straight into this chat? Yes, wait. Is my reception all right? I'm not sure yes, if it's I going. Can, I can yes. see it's clear as day. I can hear you, so that's pretty good. Excellent. Sweet. I'm just charging all right, my phone. <laughs> That's all right. You you find yourself a comfy spot, and uh, we'll get straight into it. So, first thing is, what's your name? What's your Instagram handle? And where are you currently living? Um, my name's Cade Wiseman. My Instagram is WiseyGU, and I live on the northern beaches of Sydney. Well, oh, very good, man. I am in Melbourne. I uh, am close, and everyone does know. If anyone does know Melbourne itself, I'm near Frankston, so that's a pretty pretty infamous place that everyone knows. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Look, we'll get straight to this chat. Yep. 
<laughs> we're gonna stretch this one how are you dude these chats are trying to be about mental health and i want to make this a safe space if there is anything going on in your life that you want to talk about that is behind the scenes, because I know it's all well and good, so they're taking a photo and posting it yep. up, but I know there's other things in the background that could be about uni, it could be about, I don't know, family stuff. Yeah. How are you in general? What's been happening? Oh, mate, to be honest, I've been pretty good. I've just uh, just had, oh, I finished uni, not finished, finished, but just for my semester break um, back in November. So it's good to have a couple of weeks or months, let's say. If people that do uni kind of know the, know the drill. But, um, oh, look, Miller joined. This is yep. funny. <laughs> Should probably be in my bedroom <laughs> hanging out somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, no, we just had, had a couple of weeks off with a couple of mates and I. So, you know, it was good just to just to hang out and do random shit that guys do together or stuff for driving. Yada, yada, yada. So, yeah, how about you? Are you, are you yeah, good? Yeah, just winding down, having fun. Dude, um, Sick. have better days. You know how it is. I think that's the one thing about it. I just came out of having the old Rona. So I've had that for about a week. That was fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, other than that, dude, Fantastic. Um, slaving away. Just <laughs> yeah, slaving away, just working back at work, which is really good. Um, trying to create content, as you can see, or working on yep. the car. That's pretty much my weekends at the moment. Fantastic. Standard, standard for your procedure. <laughs> yeah, it, it is, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Look, we'll get yeah, into some 100%. fun stuff. I know there's a lot of people that have been commenting, asking me questions about you and what you do and how you got into it. Um, what got you into four-wheel driving, dude? Like, I know most people, they go out and buy a car and then they sort of have some fun and go, oh, this might be for me. What got you into four-wheel yep. driving? Uh, funny story, that. So, I mean, I'm 25 now, but... There was when I was 16, um, it was just a bunch of us at school. And, you know, there was, there was a couple of country boys that came to the school. Uh, Johnny probably won't watch this, but Johnny and um, my mate Damo and uh, a guy named Ben. And um, and they all had four beers basically at school. And, you know, we were on our L plates, P plates, and there's a couple of four tracks around us. And that was literally it. Like, we just hung out and smash cars and stuff and you know it'd be like the days of blokes you get like a two inch lift and a rear locker and everyone be going crazy and you know all that stuff so you know i've been doing it for almost nine years now and it's um it's it's really only been in the last like three years that i've kind of posted about it but you know it's been um i don't know it's just a bit of fun i suppose just hang out with the boys and do some yeah. random shit and go camping and talk shit and that's about it Really? So I think that's right, the one did, thing about four driving when you go camp. When you go... <laughs> yeah, sure, dude. I have a GQ and a GU. I'm currently building a GU. And then behind me, or oh, I'll show you this one. Um, this is my custom trailer that I built. I rolled in 2017 and I made it into a camper trailer. Sick. How cool is that? Yeah, so uh, I do a bit of four wheel driving. Um, been doing it oh, since I've been riding, really. And that was in 2014. I sort of got into four wheel driving. Bought a, a Holden Frontier. That was my first four-wheel drive, if anyone can really <laughs> agree with that one. Yep, that was a bit of fun. But, yeah, here I am now um, learning, uh, following, just trying to whatever I can do to make my car better so that I am capable of doing something that you've just done or have done, uh, travelling around Australia and seeing the cool things that we have to offer. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, no, it's... um, uh, I mainly only just... I mean, the only reason I started posting is because Miller was posting on basically doing the big lap. So I was in mid-2018, so I was like, oh, I might as well take some photos of you know, what's going on. And it kind of just spiralled from there, I suppose. So Spiralled yeah. is a, a very good word there. If I'm coming from where you were, uh, I was watching you now, what, 65,000 followers on Instagram. That's pretty big, dude. That's a congratulations on that one. I must say that's that's a big thing. Oh, mate, I I couldn't. I, for, for, it's it's I, it's just the thing, so I don't go insane doing uni. Really, it's um I do electrical engineering, and you know I'm trying to be a good student, I suppose. So it's kind of just <laughs> some downtime with doing something that's not two hundred percent maths and physics, and yeah. trying to build like random shit. Cause I'm in my thesis here, so you know it's kind of it's kind of just something just to chill me out i suppose you know well that yeah well that was one of the questions that someone did ask me um how did you stay motivated while you were studying obviously this is one of the things that you like doing outside of studying 
Is there anything yeah. else that you like doing? Oh, mate, I'm, <laughs> I'm a sucker for saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, pretty much anyone can convince me to do anything. So, you know, I've, I've, I just went up with my mate, uh, Brad, and his missus and my missus. Um, and we did 10 days up at a place called Bulleye. And, you know, we did spearfishing and fishing. And, you know, I love doing that stuff. My mate Nick kind of got me into it when we did the big lap together. And um, just kind of gone from that, really. My other mate, Lockie, we did some spearfishing and stuff over in WA and met some really cool blokes over there. And, um, you know, we kind of just... Kind of just did shit, really. Yeah, kind of surf and spear fish, yes. fish and build cars and you know, pretty, much, I think... pretty much. I love the pub, so anyone can get <laughs> there. So <laughs> anyone can convince me that. So a night out with the boys and stuff. Yeah, it's a good time. So yeah. I think it is good to try and get away from studying because I I know exactly where you're coming from. I did a, a degree on a master's in landscape architecture. So. Getting that chance to get away from the books and study and, and doing whatever you have to do for your semester. Yeah. That wind down is always good, isn't it? Just being able to get away, having the fire cracking, a quick, a good beer and, and, and just talking around the fire with your mates. I think that's one thing that we sort of we we take for granted those times when we get to get get to go away, really. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. I mean you guys you guys cop the whole lockdown thing for longer than bloody anyone's. How how did you go through that? Dude, I was still working, so it was um, a crazy time, really, to see that no one on the roads, um, everyone wearing masks, and yeah, everyone at home. Um, so I was just lucky I was still working, but it was a struggle at the same time. Obviously, I like going away, and I, I, I work for my weekends. I like to use my weekends as much as I can, otherwise the weekends are wasted. Yeah, 100%. it was a struggle, and I couldn't see mates. I couldn't even talk to them just like this, and it was hard. But we're in a good position in 2022. I'm, I'm really hoping, and we can... Yeah. I don't know, build a, a better community. This is the one thing I do want to try and do with all the four drive community. I want to try and get everyone together and try and build a really good community, community base to help, I don't know, someone in need, someone that needs to learn some stuff and yeah, try and bring the, the younger generation through and say, hey, this is what we, how we do it. Um, try and be kind to, the next, kind to the next person along the, along the track. Yeah, sure, definitely. I completely agree. Here's a good one for you. Um, there's a, I've, I've had a couple of people message me. I didn't realize I didn't. I was had that many people message me. But anyway, yeah. um, where's your favorite place you have been so far? Because I was watching your YouTube channel and you've been to a lot of places. Is there something that really ticks off the list that you love or want to go back to? Uh, yes, and uh, I've told this place is secret. So oh, okay, <laughs> but um, I'll give you a hint. There's Oh, what did they call themselves back in the day? Um, oh, I think it was like Ultimate, Ultimate. Oh, I can't remember his name. Um, I have to look it up. It's Ultimate yeah. Touring or Ultimate Tours or something like that. It was. Yeah. Um, he had a he has white seventy nine, and they basically did the big lap, and um, and then they traded it in for a two hundred series, um, in a caravan. And if you can find his profile, he married his miss. Oh, and Gate asked his missus to propose basically in this spot, and we told him the location. It's up in, up in the Kimberley area, but that's probably my favourite spot, and it's on a private property. Um, and you know, it's an indigenous fellow that just indigenous elder that basically owns the land, and um, you know, such a really cool guy. Like told us all his dream time stories, and, and oh, someone just put, someone just posted it then, <laughs> they just in the in the comments, ultimate yeah. tourists, yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, they've that. If you can find his profile, you can see where he basically engaged his missus up there. So that's a cool spot. Um, and but this probably a spot a lot of people know of because I posted about it a fair bit. Um, okay. Uh, Windabandy Point, which is in it kind of just off Exmouth. Um, yep. Yeah, awesome spot there. It's phenomenal. Uh, but you know, even even like the recent trip I did to Coffin Bay um, in South Oz, like. Place is awesome. It was just Miller and I then, and uh, it was a sick trip. Just her and I, and we spent a couple of weeks there. So, um, yeah, no, it's it some really cool places, kind of that you got to go to and hang out and you know ask the questions. And there's another spot that I'm not going to tell anyone, but it's in the big. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's bloody awesome. You can hassle hassle the boys at Ridgeline four by four for that spot. So okay, them, uh... yeah, well, 
They're in, they're, I'm pretty sure they are in Vic, so I might be able to, <laughs> to hassle them. But that's the thing. You did say asking a question. Um, yeah. With this kind of stuff that we are doing, I, I want to be able to, or anyone, be able to have a chat to the next person beside them. It doesn't have to be a friend. It could just be some random that has a four-wheel drive. You should be able to yeah. go up to that person and just say, hey, dude, do you know a nice track that I go, can go down? Exactly what you just said. Is there a, a place that I can go to that can go camp that no one knows about? I want to try and make this thing where everyone is sort of together in the, in the, in the same, I know, position, camping-wise, for driving. Like, I know there's a lot of hate at the moment, and then TikTok is a big one for it, but um, trying to bring a community together and trying to be able to talk. And, yeah, I think this is the one thing I try and – I'm going to keep pushing for this year, and I'm, I'm very grateful that you actually spent some time with me today, dude, and it's time to chat, really. No, that's – mate, not a, not a problem at all. It's great great to be on the, be on the show, I'd say. So. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it is a show. Um, talking about show, your car. How did your car go after the cut and polish? I, I have been watching your TikToks. So you've been spraying the car, and it looks smicko. So how's it going? There she is. She's um, <laughs> well, she's not even she's not even done yet. But I uh, I'll um, let me get a let me get one of these rag things. They're coming. It's coming up pretty good. It's bloody yeah. it takes an absolute mission and a half. But like, you give it a good polish, and like, that's a full. Like uh, you can full see a reflection in that. So, That's it. Yeah, it's it's takes bloody forever. This stuff I I would never do it again. <laughs> yes, I, I do. I do know. I do know how you feel. I've sprayed one car so far, and I'm about to spray the GQ, and I really don't want to do it. So um, I must say, congrats to you on, on, on creating something awesome, and then hopefully it stays like that for uh, forever. <laughs> yeah. The guy, guy in the chat, Alex Vars, he goes, who taught you to paint? <laughs> One of my mates, but Vars, you taught me how to fix a, fix a run in my paint, mate. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's always one person that will call you out, but at least they're here to watch you, what's going on. All right, here's another good one. Um, next place that you want to go. Obviously, the car is not ready yet, but obviously, coming into the future, there's somewhere that you might want to hit. Is that something you want to do? Uh, well, I haven't done Tassie yet. It's the one one state of Australia that I haven't been to. Um, so I'd love to go there. The only thing that is obviously a pain is the um, is having to buy the ferry ticket, I suppose. But yeah, it's the most expensive thing. Yeah, I mean, I if I'm not sure if I want to go there in touring or is to take the forties because I've obviously built the tray and I'll, my idea was like chuck chuck the 40s on the tray and then pretty much drive around on the 35s and get to tracks swap the 40s over yada 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 so i was considering taking the 40s and like so i love giving shit to to everyone if i can and um <laughs> it so you know it's um it's just a two-way street really and i, I couldn't care i think it's pretty funny but it's always good to have banter i think with the boys so i love i love following around my like, full four-wheel drive actions. Um, what, are they, what are they called? Four-wheel drive 24-7? Yeah, 24-7, um, yeah. I'm just used to calling it four-wheel drive action. But anyway, <laughs> the, um, the, I'd love to go to the $1,000 track and kind of give that a nudge. I think it'd be interesting. Um, I don't think you'd give it a nudge. I feel like if you had those 40 years on, you'd actually absolutely demolish it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it just goes to show, like, you know, what a, if, you set, if, you, if you're setting the car up, for what it needs to do then you know it's obviously it'll get through it easier but it, like i mean hats off to them they're trying to do hard tracks with super tourist setups and shit and they break their cars and hoo-ha which is fun to watch um i actually know it's a live watch like one video of theirs forever but <laughs> it, i just I, I just love getting all the all the boys saying oh you gotta do this you gotta do this oh th thanks it's this um ridge lines here i've told him your spot mate up in the victorian high country <laughs> Yeah, so see if he, he drops a comment on that one. But yeah, um, I think that's the one thing. Going to Tasmania, there's a, co a couple of friends that are, I don't know, they sort of, sort of gearing up to go over there. And they, I know um, a couple of people that was in my club, they, um, yeah. they did Tasmania and they loved it. They blew a couple of clutches and yeah, they said it was a hectic drive, but it was an, a fun drive at the same time. Yeah, right. Got a, another good question for you. Um, someone did ask me to ask you this one. What is your favourite mod and most expensive? <laughs> I can feel like I know which way this might go, but you tell me. Oh, the most so my favourite mod. Um, 
That's a hard question. Um, there's like the forties are sick. I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah, like when we did six stage, it was hilarious because Shory was there and he's just like, "Oh mate, I've got forties fever now." Because when we did it, you might have, you might have seen like the latest episode of Four Wheel Drive. Uh, 24/7 and um and like one of the boys sent me a sent me a video of it and like mate they did the sixth stage so easily and I was just like yeah geez and like when when I look at the video of when we did six stage it was like crazy like we were, like Corey and Shory were struggling to even and I got really capable cars and you know they were struggling to get through the sixth stage and then the forties just like just ate it and um and after that all the boys were like stuff it I'm getting forties too, yada yada yada. It's pretty funny. Um I think it's hard to say. Like my favorite mod, like the reductions are cool. Um they definitely changed my driving more than I thought they would. Um okay. I know, that's a that's a hard question. I don't know what my favorite mod is. It's got it's twin locked as well. So between it's lockers, so reductions and forties. Um all the all the steering wheel. I like the steering wheel. The steering <laughs> You're just, you're just rattling off the whole car here, but yeah, I yeah, understand. Yeah, mate, mate, well, I'll show you the steering wheel. I mean, I, watch, I, I think when I wired this up and actually had it so that all the buttons works, that was, I think actually, yeah, that was my favourite mod, the steering wheel. Yeah, nice. Out of, it, out of everything. Um, Let's see. And then the most expensive, I honestly, there's been too many expensive things on this car to actually... Maybe I know. I, what do you I think? Know, I know the feeling because um, you sort of spend the money and then you forget about how much you spent on it, and then you buy the next thing, and it just keeps snow- snowballing after that. So yeah, Absolutely. I get the expensive thing. Oh, mate, I, I probably. The, I mean, the thing I have probably spent the most amount of money in one go is probably the canopy, um, and and they even gave me a good price on that. But you know, that was it was still ten grand for for that one, and I was just like, that was a quick drop. Um, you know, it's a for me, it's a work vehicle, so it's in my business name. So, it just yes. play it and it's all just a tax write off. So, well, that's a good thing, I must say. At least you can sort of do that, <laughs> yep, literally. So, it's probably one of the most capable tax write offs. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Here you go. I'll get, another, I'll get another question for you. Other than full wheel driving, what else, what other talents do you have that no one knows about? Is it talents? Like car? Yeah, can you sing? I don't know. Do you like cooking? Is there something that no one knows about that we should all know about? I'll have to ask Miller for that. I might go around to my bedroom and see what she reckons. Oh, no, she's she's looking at me through the window. <laughs> <laughs> um, hidden talents. Hilarious to say that because I remember, um, I'm not sure if he's watching, but my mate Hugh Yates went on uh, Love Island, the, the recent one, and um, and... He got asked the same question, and his one was like, he can hang coat hangers off his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I fucking lost it. It was that funny. Um, <laughs> geez, I, 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 I cut my own hair. There you go. You can, That's pretty good, dude. And I'm not, a, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a barber, so I just um, I have to get Miller to trim the back, and that's about it. I just got fed up with like all the hairdressers and everything and I was like fuck all these guys are just bullshit <laughs> so I just yes. like pulled some clippers and went from there so I did see a question that popped through what was the last fish that you speared or you caught <laughs> that, I, that I caught I caught a, a quote unquote trophy pearl perch apparently it was, Hell um, yeah. <laughs> it, it was it was actually a decent size and um you know, great eating for all that stuff. So that was yeah, that was up at Woolai. Um, I, my mate Brad, who was there with me, he was um, he was <laughs> he was wanting to feed himself for the next month. So he was pretty much shooting everything that he possibly could. And I was there. <laughs> like I, I can't remember what I shot first. It was a um, I think it was like a mangrove jack. And then there was a I was just waiting for the meter kingy, but just nothing, nothing. Uh, no meteries turned up, which is kind of annoying. Like, <laughs> no meteries. A couple of free meteries on those ones. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for you to say it. <laughs> but no, we were um, 
we were kind of waiting for, I was waiting at least for the for the meter king to come in at least but no nah, there's was really surprising there's nothing up with the north salt like north salt islands um you know i heard a couple of other guys got some good stuff but you know that's right so but yeah that was what i last caught there's a trophy size pearl perch i think it was about 65 in length by the end of it so it, hell yeah dude that's awesome yeah. Someone said, are you still, still modelling bikinis? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I put it on my story, I think, two days ago. There was another company still trying to send me some female bloody sports, <laughs> sports bra equipment or I don't know what the heck it was, but it was something. So, hey, if you, if, if you want to pay for it, go for it. They give you a 40% <laughs> off discount. And, you know, yeah. so... No, you chew, chew the ass end out of that one, so come on. <laughs> Very yeah. good. Very good. Oh, jeez. Look, uh, I feel like I've kept you maybe a bit too long. Um, these oh. chats were about to go for about 20 minutes to half an hour. I just wanted to see how you were. That was the main thing I wanted to try and go across and see how you got into your niche or how you got into four-wheel driving. And you have explained that today. And, and I must say a big thank you for just lending me some of your time, dude, on a Friday no. afternoon because I know most of us be down in the pub. <laughs> I wish I was there, but I'm here buffing a car. So, yeah, it's great. <laughs> It'll get there soon enough, and you know that, and you'll be out back on the tracks and enjoying life with yep. your friends and family. Nah, all good. Well, thanks, Kieran, for your time. Um, it's good to hear from your side as well, and hopefully catch you around on the tracks and stuff. That'd be cool. Hell yeah, hopefully. And I'll be down your way maybe soon. The next time, be safe, dude, and I'll see you around. Cheers, mate. You have a good one. Catch up.